Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show. This is a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So we're here for the Sunday night Ben's Album Challenge. Ben has given me a band that I actually am a little bit familiar with. I remember them as a young man, hearing them a few times, and the band is called Goblin. The album is called Roller. It's from 1976. Six tracks on this album. Six tracks. So uh, the pr most predominant thing about this album, first of all, it's, it's an instrumental album. So for those people who who really key on instrumental albums, I think you'll like this one quite a bit. Um, it also has some very good instrumentation on here. The bass is probably the most dominant instrument here. So it's also a, I would say it has a streak of psychedelia running through it, but some heavy stuff as well. And a little bit of prog bits in here and there as well. Um, yeah, like I said, the bass is the bass is very frontal on most of the songs on here. You also have some pretty solid drumming going on here as well. The keyboardist and this and the um, guitar player a little bit more in the background, although the keyboardist is a little more dominant. He he likes to use his synthesizers a lot to make noises. That's it's kind of a Pink Floydish thing, but they don't. It doesn't sound like Pink Floyd, but it's it, it's reminiscent of that that things that Pink Floyd likes to make those little kind of odd noises using the synthesizers. Um, the other thing about this album, the guitar soloing, while not that frequent, is very good when put to the test. Okay, so the, there are six songs on the album. The first one is Roller, which is, of course, the title track of the album. Um, some really heavy bass opening here. Um, with some real catchy kind of uh, keyboard riffs going on as well. I think it's uh, an excellent song to start an album off with. If you like instrumentals, you will like this immediately. It's very catchy. Okay, the next song out is called Aquaman, which opens with this kind of water noises, like something is like um, almost like a fish tank sort of kind of thing going on here. Um, there's some keyboard bits that are intermit or intermittent with this noise and some acoustic guitar as well and the acoustic guitar is played very mellow it's almost like a classical sounding noise uh, guitar sound then you have uh, some more really dominating frontal bass on this particular track um, the towards the sorry getting along in the tooth now okay so towards the end of this heavy uh towards the end of the album uh, this particular track you've got a lot of heavy drums and bass dominating it and then you get this kind of a bluesy kind of guitar solo um all kind of lending a kind of a psychedelic feel to them you know, it's it just a feel i don't i don't know if it's a really strong psychedelic feel but there is definitely that there um, the next song is called Snip Snap. Opens with some nice keyboard and synthesizer noises. Um, then it is followed by some really heavy bass rifting again. And then more keyboard noises. This is probably one of the more psychedelic songs on the album. Yeah, it has got that real kind of psychedelic feel to it. Um, the next song is called The Snake Awakens. Um, I'm not going to probably get this right because I've, I feel like this is, is Italian. So, Il Revalio del Serpentine, Serpent, Serpentine, Serpente, Serpente, maybe, or Serpente, yeah. So basically, um, another, this is a kind of a spacey opening. It's got that kind of space rock sound to it at the beginning of the, of the song. And then there's some bongo drums that come in. Then it kind of gives it that kind of uh, kind of almost uh, native feel to it. Now, towards the end of the album, you get uh, this kind of piano part. That's kind of different. It's there's not a lot of piano on this album, but this part is got this piano part at the end, which is pretty pretty nice. 
we get to the song is probably my favorite like Ben likes me to pick uh, one particular track and tell why it's my favorite so this is this this uh, track is called Goblin which is of course the, the name of the band as well so they actually have a band name song and a and a album name song on it which is is a little bit unusual um, it opens with a nice keyboard organ kind of part then some more heavy bass as usual and some interim yeah some um not sure if that's what i meant to say so i'll just skip it a uh, great solo from the keyboard uh, guitar part on here really really good this song is probably the most uh, dominant instrumental song on the album and, and it's the longest song on the album too is it, it's almost got a bit of a there is some psychedelic feel to it but there's also a little bit of progness to this particular song and of course the bass and drums are up front again so and then the final track is called dr frankenstein again uh, this is a more dark song than the others a little bit darker um, the drums and of course the bass again are very dominant so as they are on every track these are the I think the bass is probably the most dominant instrument on this track it's very very loud very frontal very rifty which is is not something you get a lot of but uh, definitely a dominant factor here this album is kind of like I said very psychedelic well not very psychedelic it does have some psychedelic flavor to it it also has a little bit of that jazz fusion -y sound to it mostly because the instruments are all kind of very um, very dominated by soloing and bits and pieces put in there it's, it's actually quite a good album for an instrumental I'm not myself I'm not particularly fond of instrumental albums but if you like instrumental albums and you like um, where all the instruments are kind of dominating or playing bits and pieces and parts and very catchy um, kind of hooks to it then you will love this album I think it'll be one of your favorites I on the other hand am not as crazy about it um, if it had vocals on it I probably would like it a lot more but that's me I tend to be like that I don't mind all the soloing and all the stuff they're doing I just prefer vocals on my music so if there was vocals on this I'd probably like it more but as it is it's still a passable album by any stretch and the song Goblin is my favorite so I hope you like this episode if you did please like and subscribe well I don't know why but once again I'm getting tired so um, anyways, if you like, if you like it, please like and subscribe and we will be back next week with a special kind of Ben's album challenge. We won't be doing an album next week. We're going to do, I've decided we're going to do the top 20 best, we're going to talk about the top 20 best episodes of Ben's album challenge to date. So uh, I hope you can come in and, um, and listen for that. That would be good. Thank you. So have yourself a good night. Take care. Bye.